Hey everyone and welcome back to CG Family. In this quick how to video, we are gonna learn how to bake your pivot position and orientation. So let's first see what the issue is. If I move this up and rotate it. Now if I have to do this animation, for example if I have to rotate it and I have to make this constant motion, let me just place a keyframe here and then on 60 place another let's say this much now see that's the animation that I get but this is not what I want see the reason is we got the values on all three of these axes but we only need the y axis so to correct it there's a simple way by baking your pivot so for that let me just first of all delete these keyframes by edit delete by type and channels now let's put it back to its original position okay now let's first set its position let's take this so for example let's say we have to animate it right here in this axis y axis now I need the keys in y axis only for that let's first see this is the world axis this is your object axis and for your rotation also the world and your object now what you need is first of all press D by pressing C place this gimbal at this very top now it's aligned to the top vertice so it's gonna rotate correctly now if I press E and try to rotate it see I'm getting the rotation right but the values are still not correct so for that Without letting the tool go, I have to go to modify and bake pivot. Now you see the values have changed here, but now if I rotate this in the x axis, the value only changes in the x axis. So, and same for that, for example, if, if I just have to freeze transform here and center the pivot. By the way, if you're wondering how I did this, then this is uh, what I explained in my previous video. You can check it out. And this is really easy. This is handy. For example, I have my freeze transformation center power graph editor and other useful stuff here. So if you want to learn that, feel free to check out my other video. Now, back to the topic. So now I have the freeze transformations. So if I rotate it, and set the pivot right at the top of it now see it's rotating right but the value is changing in all three axes so again all you have to do is modify bake pivot now remember guys you have to do it without letting the tool go so what I mean is If you press D and place it right at the top of it but then see this is my rotation tool but if I let go of it for for example if I click out of it if I click something else and I go back to it see you won't have the same pivot again but there's a way to get it back so you have to go to the tool settings let me just talk it here then instead of object you have to go to custom see when you change your gimbal it changes in custom so the way the bake pivot works is that it takes your custom pivot and make some adjustments to make it your object or gimbal pivot now that I have the tool back and I have my axis right now all I gotta do is go to modify and bake pivot again 
now it changes to object mode and now the value is changing only in x axis so if i have to animate now so let's say i have to do the negative 360 it's gonna work perfectly fine now this is it for this video guys thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one